My name is Jason Kesselring. My name is Kurt Kesselring. And uh, we're here to share a little bit about our uh, project. We're here on a ranch in Kindred, North Dakota. Uh, a few years back, we got uh, a wild brainstorm to take the grapes that live along the river here and try and domesticate them by putting them into a wild grape vineyard and hopefully making wine. There's a, a vineyard in, or a winemaker in Vermilion, South Dakota that inspired us and tasted their wine. We wanted to duplicate that. We've got uh, three, three steps, uh, three ages of vineyard here. This is vineyard one, the oldest, which is about uh, eight, nine years old. We've got vineyard two, which is going on about three or four. And uh, then vineyard three, which is uh, so a year or, younger. Yep, third so. year. One of the characteristics of uh, the wild grape uh, wine is that it's very close to a taste of like a Cabernet or a Malbec, which is a very full red uh, wine. Um, and uh, really, we kind of feel it goes well with things like venison, red meat, and that sort of thing. I think it's a really solid grape as far as uh, what it's capable of, and especially in northern climates, which more and more people are starting to grow grapes in northern climates. So I think mm. that's uh, it's a really exciting time too to get into winemaking now, as with the brew pubs and all this stuff that's happening, people are really into local mm. uh, produce and uh, local drink, and uh, I think that this is a, a something a lot of people will find appealing. The there there are. A tremendous number of unknowns when you get into this. Uh, wild grapes have some of their own characteristics. One of the positive characteristics are their disease resistance. But one of the negatives are they're a small grape and they're small clusters of grapes. And uh, there are a host of things that we didn't know. There are male and female vines. So in one of our vineyards, we weren't selective enough and careful enough in selecting the uh, the grapes would get too many males in there, and males do not yield any fruit, so stay away from the males. So there's a lot of things like that that we had to learn, and we can't tell you the things that we have to learn yet in the next uh, five years. The trellis systems that we're sp experimenting with are, uh, I think, can be improved on. Uh, we're going to be looking at selecting the very best uh, plants and trying to reproduce or reproduce them by grafting so we can take our best plants and uh, hopefully increase our production. Our goal is to start a commercial winery and turn these grapes into hopefully some good wine. Our preliminary tests have been very good. We've, Jason's made a couple of batches of wine on a small scale and we like it. Uh, it, uh, as he said, goes very well with wild game and red meats. Uh, it's uh, surprisingly good and doesn't have that strong bite at the end like a lot of red wines do.